Hi guys. I'm going to put together a thinking of you card and I have a lot of parts and pieces but I think it's going to be cute in the end. The stamp set that I'm using is one that I got off of Ally Express like a year ago. I'm using this little thinking of you right here. I'm using a standard five and a half by eight and a half inch card base. Scored it four and a quarter. I'm using two pieces on the inside. I have a white mat that is four and an eighth by five and three eighths. And then I still have some of those alcohol papers that I was playing with a while back. As a matter of fact, I have a bunch of them because, well, I bought two packages of UPO paper since I did the first one. This piece here is a cutoff piece, and I cut it at three quarter by five and a quarter. I'm sorry I'm so shaky today. I don't know what's going on there. It's just going to be off to the side over here. And it'll go on the inside. Then on the outside, I have several pieces because, well, it's me. I do this with all of my cards. The first one is four and an eighth by five and three eighths. The second one is three and three quarter by four and seven eighths. Then my alcohol piece that goes on the outside is one and five eighths by four and seven eighths. And it's actually going to go this way. Here's an area that didn't get any alcohol ink. And I don't want to add more to it because I don't want to mess it up. And if I added more alcohol, it would reactivate what's already there. But that's okay because I have these pieces that's going on there. This is a nesting set of dies that I bought on Ally Express. The biggest one is three and a half by two and an eighth. So from point to point, it's two and an eighth and then three and a half across. This glitter paper is a piece of, actually, out of the, um, oh, what's that called? It's a small 4x6 pad that comes out at Christmas time at Hobby Lobby. That's where this one came from. So this piece is, that's 2 and 7 eighths by 1 and 7 eighths. I guess I should do the smaller first. So then the final one is one and a half by two and a quarter. Then the ink I got out, I'm going to stamp my sentiment in Versafine and I put up my little stamp set. And it's onyx black. Then I'm going to go around the edges of most of these guys with this Touch 5 marker. It's an alcohol marker and I always forget to use these guys because I'm not any good at coloring with alcohols. Alcohol markers. I guess I should specify, right? Um, this one is in the color geranium. That's what this one is. These guys are going to get popped up on foam. And I think it's going to be pretty straightforward from there, right? So I used the antique linen to do the floral swag back there. And then I used Versafine Onyx Black to do the thinking of you. So I'm going to go around the edge of this with the geranium. I need to clean the outsides of these markers. And... I, like I said, I don't do alcohol coloring, however, I do follow people that do, and they are fantastic at it. That's um, Sandy Allnock and Kelly Latavola. They are fantastic at alcohol coloring. Anyway, they said that if you go to use your alcohol markers and it's putting out too much ink, if you take the cap off the other end, it It'll slow it down a little bit. And then I'm just using my ATG to put it down. You could use wet glue. Just 
two-sided tape, whatever you want to use. And I, when I go around the edges, I go around from the back because I tend to slip. And I don't want to ruin the front of whatever I'm working on. I'm putting extra um, adhesive on the back of this because sometimes things don't want to stick to this glitter paper. What I do like about this glitter paper is that it does not shed blit glitter, not even after you die cut it or cut it with a trimmer or whatever. It doesn't shed glitter everywhere. So I like that. I think I need to put some more yellow on there. I think. So that's what we're going to do. What do you guys think? See, this has some yellow on it, too. I think it turned out kind of cute. It's really plain for me, but I'm okay with that. Thanks for spending a little bit of time with me, and you guys have a great day and a glorious tomorrow. Bye, guys.